What's up, YouTube? It's your boy T Hoop, and I'm back again with another video. And it's that time again. OnePlus has come out with their T variant of their flagships. OnePlus 8T. Now, this is the T-Mobile variant. And I just want to get this out of the way. And it has absolutely nothing to do with the phone. It has everything to do with T-Mobile. Now, I just want to get this gripe out of the way. And if you're expecting this long-time-awaited feature from OnePlus, you may want to think twice about getting the T-Mobile variant if you don't want to wait for this feature. And this feature I'm talking about, let me show you. I just want to get this gripe out of the way. Y'all see this? See that beautiful display? See it disappear? Black screen. I do not know. I'm going to sit it right here for a second while I gripe. I do not know why T-Mobile decided not to release this phone with always on display. I had no idea. I was just so happy and so stoked to get the phone set up and finally activate always on display. T-Mobile took it away. Now, I'm pretty sure they're going to update it and put it there. I heard that the international variant, the international software that comes out of the box with the always on display option. I read somewhere where they were having problems or something. And T-Mobile decided to remove it until those problems got ironed out for whatever reason. The problems or well, the issue wasn't that severe enough not for them to leave it on there out of the box. And it's not there. I'm not crazy. Matter of fact, just go ahead and show you that it's not there. So you're supposed to be able to go to your settings. There. Ambient display. Now, if you look at the options here, only pick up your phone and tap the screen to show. Right up under that should be when to show. And it should say, give you the time to schedule it or always show. As you can see, it's not there. T-Mobile variant removed it. I'm pretty sure they're going to release an update to put it there. But that is my gripe. So, you're not crazy. If you got the T-Mobile variant, always on display has been removed from the software. So, we got to wait. Not this time from one plus, but T-Mobile until they send out another update. And I was hoping that it would be an update available right when I checked for updates. Nah, dog. No update available. But I'm pretty sure it's coming soon. Anywho, back to this device. Like I said, it's one plus eight T T-Mobile variant. Seven forty nine is the price. Now this is like the middle child of the one plus eight and one plus eight Pro. Well, technically, I won't even say that because I forgot you have the Nord. That hasn't been released in the United States yet, but will be released here in a couple weeks, I think. 
Uh, I think it's the Nord 100. They're coming out with two variants of the Nord. So I forgot about the Nord. So this would be more, in my opinion, this would be more closely uh, compared to the Nord than it would be the 8, in my opinion. Maybe if the Nord and the 8 had a baby, it would be the T. But let's go over the specs. Now, it does have a flagship spec sheet, but I'm kind of concerned. I'm, I'm kind of I, I think they dropped the ball in a couple areas and I'll go over the air, those areas with you. But it does come with the uh, not the latest Snapdragon because the latest Snapdragon is the plus variant, which 865, 865 plus ain't that big of a difference. So, I mean, it does come with the latest 865, just not the plus uh, processor. 12 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of UFS 3.1 storage, 4,500 milliamp battery, which is different than the OnePlus 8, I do believe came with a 4,000 milliamp battery. Correct me down in the comments if I'm wrong. The huge difference with this is the speed. It comes with what they are calling warp charge 65 and i'm here to tell you it charges fast this phone charges faster than any phone that i've had in my catalog and if you're a member of my channel if you're subscribed to my channel you know throughout the years i have had a lot of phones i tested it and it charged from zero to a hundred zero percent all the way fully charged and get this 40 minutes yeah you heard me right 40 minutes from z completely dead to where it would not turn on all the way to fully charged that is freaking amazing that's fast that is super fast. Now, there is two batteries in the phone that total, that equal 4,500 milliamps. So it's not just one battery. It's two batteries, which allows the phone to charge faster. That was... Pretty good. That, that, that was pretty good in my opinion. I'm not sure. I think there's another phone that actually does that. I want to say in the Oppo, which is they, they're basically the Oppo version. They're basically, basically the same phones. Uh, Oppo was just sold overseas. Basically the same, the sister company, parent company, or whatever. So they did it. But this is the first phone that I've had that had the two batteries set up with this fast of charging. Absolutely beautiful. It does not come with wireless charge. Eh, so what? It should have. Now, that's what I'm kind of uh, about with this phone. At 749, I think wireless charge should have been an option. I don't, I'm, I'm not understanding why they're not putting wireless charge on their phones. The OnePlus 8 didn't have wireless charge. The T variant does not have wireless charge. And for 749, when you have other phones, the likes of you got the Samsung uh, Fan Edition FE, the S20 Fan Edition, which I'm recording this video with right now. Wireless charge. You have the new Pixel 5 coming out that is actually uh, the same price as this, I do believe. wireless charge so those two phones right there you know the fe is cheaper than uh this device i think the fe is 699 has wireless charge so i'm not quite sure why uh one plus has again not put that feature but for a person like me it doesn't bother me i plug my phone in doesn't matter 
and the phone charges so quick. Not a big deal for me. Not a big deal for me. 6.55 inch 1080p OLED display. Beautiful. Beautiful display. 120 hertz instead of 90 hertz, which was on the OnePlus 8. So that was a upgrade. The screen is bright. Beautiful flat OLED display. 1100 nits peak. This display is beautiful. Look at that animation. That's, that's, that's worth taking a look at again. It's just smooth. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful display. The bezel on the bottom, it's the same all the way around the phone. It makes it look a lot better. There's no, has a very, very, very small chin. Very small chin. Fast, fast uh, in-screen fingerprint reader. Fast. Super fast. Beautiful. And uh, look at this color, though. Now, I am not a fan. And this could be another one of my gripes. I'm not a fan of green. Now they are uh calling this aquamarine. And it does have some a, a, a color shift when you turn it. Almost looks like it's bluish. But I kind of like it. I'm not a fan of green, but I kind of like it. Now I do wish the only other color this phone is available in is like a gray silverish looking and I, I wanted something different other than just that plain black gray look so I went with this color and I'm not I, I'm not disappointed it's a nice looking color but I wish they would have came out with more colors you know if you know anything about one plus they usually have a darker color like a black or like on the one plus eight that uh that aurora color, that glow, that just rainbow effect color. They didn't do that in this one. Oh, well. I would have liked to seen, you know, some more choices, but it is what it is. Now, they kind of gave us the okie doke with the cameras. Now, if you look here, if you look closely, it's a quad camera setup. You got a 48 megapixel main camera. 16 megapixel ultra wide, and it does get kind of wide. Five megapixel macro. And to me, a useless two megapixel monochrome sensor. Now, that's I, the OnePlus 8 has three cameras. They put four cameras on this, but it's not really an upgrade to the cameras because the cameras are basically the same, has the same, I believe Sony IMX sensor, I do believe the same sensor as in the OnePlus 8 is here. The same main sensor is here. So it's not that big of an upgrade. I think, you know, they added this monochrome sensor, I do believe. Eh, could have did without that. I would have rather them kept the same triple camera setup and maybe put a higher, a, a, a better sensor than in the OnePlus 8. But see, that's, that's, that's OnePlus for you. You know, their phone, their, their phones are not known for their cameras. Got the front selfie camera here. Their phones are not known for the cameras. They take okay pictures, which I would do a separate video on the uh, photos that it takes. They take good pictures. But again, they skimmed out, especially when you have the phones, the Pixel 5 just coming out. 
the S20 FE off. Oh, I'm telling you right now, the FE, and you can look at the video uh, that I posted, and we'll be posting another video on the cameras, some uh, some photos I took with the S20 FE. Blows this one out of the water. Just saying. Just saying. And it's cheaper than this. So, you know, I, I think they need to do some work on their cameras. They're not bad, but at 749 you would think they would have did Make some more work, did some more work on the camera setup. But this phone is still amazing. It's fast. It's fast. It's fluid. The speakers allow. Let me put up one of my videos so you can hear. Uh, the speakers. And look at the video quality as well. Dual stereo speakers. Gets nice and loud. That screen is absolutely amazing too. Make sure we got full resolution. Look at that screen. Beautiful screen. Nice and loud speakers. There's absolutely nothing that I can say uh, bad about this phone to the point to where I cannot recommend it. I do recommend it, you know, if you don't already have a OnePlus phone. If you're wanting to get a OnePlus phone, I would recommend, would you, the OnePlus 8, I, I would recommend that too, but I recommend this too. That might not make any sense. I tell you what, if you already have a OnePlus 8, I do not recommend upgrading to this T variant. Wait probably four or five months, three, four months for the Pro variant, the 8T Pro. If you have the 8, I do not recommend upgrading to the 8T. Skip this and go to the 8T Pro because there's not that big of a difference when it comes to the 8 and the 8 people. But I'm saying this phone is awesome. It's fast, fluid. You can't go wrong with this. But again, I am so pissed off that T-Mobile decided to take away. Look at there. I'm supposed to have my always on display right there. It's gone. It's missing. T-Mobile, what the hell are you doing? Can we get the update, please? And thank you. Anywho. OnePlus 8T. Amazing phone. With a little bit of shortcuts. Could have been cheaper, but it is what it is. I recommend it. If you like this video... Make sure you hit that thumbs up, hit that bell so you'll be notified for more content. Subscribe to my channel. Stay safe. Go vote. Peace.